this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to make video call, video conference, share real-time gameplay with friends, and show the demonstration on another computer to the person on the other end using Magewell XI100 XUSB Pro PNP Capture Box. I will also demonstrate some image adjustment functions of the box. First of all, connect the DVI HDMI adapter to the capture box. Secondly, connect the video camera to the connector with an HDMI cable. Then, use a USB 3 cable to connect the capture box to the computer. If it is the first time for you to use a capture box on this computer, Windows will still install the driver automatically and prompt you with a successful installation notice. Next, click Skype and log in. Find the contact you would like to chat with and click Video Call. Skype automatically establishes a connection. Now, the person on the other end can see me. As long as your network speed is fast enough and the Skype version you're using supports it, you can make high-definition video calls. This is the video that the person on the other end sees. If you want to show the demonstration on another computer to the person on the other side, it can also be achieved with the help of this capture box. Unplug the DVI HDMI connector from the capture box and replace it with the DVI VGA connector. Then connect the computer which is used as the video source through the VGA interface. Now we can see that the other person on the other end is able to watch the demonstration on this computer. You might be playing a game and want to show the person on the other end how you're playing the game. This is made possible with Capture Box. Here is a tablet. I connect it to the box with an HDMI cable and a converter. Then I start the game. Here is the real-time gameplay that the person on the other end can see. If you use image control function in Skype, such as brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation, the effect can be displayed in real time. Let me show you how to do it. First, click Tools and then Options. Next, click Video Settings, then Webcam Settings. Now I adjust the brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation separately, and we can preview the real-time change on the screen.